Welcome. In front of me is an LG Q60 and today I will show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So to get started, once you power on the device for the first time, you will be presented with this welcome screen. So number one, choose your language by tapping on the language right there. And you have, well, choice from basically most of the languages, I would assume. Um, now I'm gonna stick with English, considering that's what I use. Um, and then let's tap on the arrow right here and keep on going with the setup. So new second screen. Um, now you can choose if you want to see the notch or not and you get immediate result on how it differs between. Uh, so choose which one you want. I'm just gonna stay with this, well, I guess teardrop or whatever it's called. Um, then you have insert SIM card. Now this option is basically uh, optional. You can insert the card right now, uh, 10 seconds later or completely next month and it will literally not change anything. Um, it will work the same way the moment you insert it. Uh, then you have the connection to Wi-Fi. I'm gonna skip this uh, considering it's gonna start looking for updates and stuff like that which I want to preserve on time. Um, but if you choose to enable it later on, you can log into Google. And without SIM card and Wi-Fi, the only thing that will uh, not be uh, that you won't really get is the right here, the date and time being set automatically. The moment you put in either SIM card or connect to Wi-Fi, the time will be set automatically from the web. Otherwise, you would have to put it on manually. So I'm gonna keep it as it is right now, it doesn't really matter because the moment I would connect to anything, it will be set to correct one. Then you have Google services. So from here, I have like localizations from Google and a couple other services. You can read all of them and for instance, disable them if you want to, if you don't like Google spying on you and your localization. Now keep in mind, later on, you can enable that in the notification panel anyway, if you wish to. So go accept. Uh, secure your phone. Now here you can add a fingerprint or a pen pattern or password, whichever one you choose, um, or both. Uh, so I'm just gonna use only this one and I'm gonna stick with pattern as an example. Uh, screen startup. Now this, I would say no thanks. <clears throat> what it does is when your device turns on, it will request, uh, well, the pattern in my case, to turn on the device fully. Uh, now I consider this to be completely redundant because you will have to put it before the device powers on and then once it powers on you still will be on the lock screen so you have to put it on again so it's just a little bit annoying and I, would, I prefer to have it off. Okay, So from here let's draw the pattern that I, that I will use and then redraw it once more and confirm it. legal document so I'm in one of these localizations right here so next uh, again more agree to all and more and done and you're done with the setup so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching